okay approaches to database management data management in this one you are having file based system next one is database approach so file based system file based system is nothing but a uh, every information will be stored in the form of a files okay the earlier system to database was file based system previously uh, database was using file based system in this a large number of files are needed to perform various tasks so each and every information everything will be stored in the form of a files previously next one group of files are used for storing data of an organization so here different files are used to store a data of an organization so multiple files will be used some file 1 file 2 file 3 up to some file n's this is nothing but for example of an organization information like employee information like employee personal details uh, like employee re like uh, company related information and so on so each and every file is used to store different different types of information group of files used for storing different data of an organization each file is independent of another file one file is independent of another file this each file is called as a flight flat file each file contained and processed information for specific one specific task this each and every file processed information for one specific task all these files are designed by using c c++ all these files will be designed for using c++ so file based system the earlier system to database was the earlier system to database was file based system in this one a large number of files are used to per to store your data and to perform various tasks group of files used for storing data of an organization each file is independent of another one each file is called as a flat file each file contained and processed information for specific task files are designed by using like c c++ so if you store the information complete information will be in the form of your files then what are the drawbacks we will see if we want to if we want to store some information all that information of an organization will be stored in different different files so each file is independent of one of another one each file is called as a flat file these files are designed by using the programming languages like c c++ so if you are using file based approach to maintain your data some drawbacks are there so that we will see now so data redundancy data redundancy means what is a redundancy redundancy is nothing but a duplication of data so data redundancy means duplication of data values that is same information is duplicated in several file this makes the data redundancy same information appears in different files in different way then you can say that sorry data redundancy means duplication of data values means same data is appearing in multiple files then you can say that that is a data redundancy duplication makes if you maintain duplication then it means wastage of time wastage of money and storage space also so in a dbms main drawback is redundancy redundancy is nothing but a duplication of data duplication of data means in multiple files same information is appearing then that is nothing but a redundancy if you maintain redundancy then wastage of time money and storage space next one is data inconsistency data inconsistency means different copies of the same data or not matching means in one file for example employee phone number is something and in another file that employee same phone number is different meaning so different copies of the same data are not matching that is nothing but a data inconsistency same basic data existing in different files with different meaning then you can say that that is a data 
inconsistency for example phone number of customer is different at different files next problem is data isolation data isolation is data is scattered in different files and files in different format writing new application program to retrieve the data is difficult data is scattered in different files so every file is in its own format so writing new application program to data is to retrieve the data is very difficult each and every file is formatting in different way then retrieving information from these files is very difficult that is nothing but a data isolation next one is data integrity data integrity means data values may need to satisfy some integrity constraint so data values for example you are having the uh, if you are maintaining some bank uh, database so balance is a one attribute so bank balance values for example it is maintaining some integrity constraint like each and every customer should have the 1000 rupees minimum balance so here bank balance value should be 1000 rupees minimum this is nothing but a integrity constraint so data values may need to satisfy some integrity constraint for example if you want to fill any some application form here age age should be like 18 years this is nothing but a some integrity constraint so each and every data value must satisfy some integrity constraint uh, for example balance field must be greater than 1000 in file based approach the in file based approach to handle the above condition we need to go through the program code whereas in database approach we can declare integrity constraint along with the definition whereas in a file based approach if you maintain some integrity constraint you need to write the programming code whereas in a uh, database whereas in a database approach in this database approach just simply you can mention the integrity constraint along with the query language next one data automaticity this is also one of the problem so it is very it is difficult to ensure automaticity in file processing system so what is the automaticity we will see so it is very difficult to um, maintain automaticity in file processing system that is nothing but a what is what is the automaticity we will see for example two accounts are there a and b a and b both are the customers a is having some account number and b, a is having some account and b is having account a transferred 100 rupees to a wants to transfer 100 rupees to b so here from account from a's account 100 rupees is deducted but it is not credited in the b's so that is nothing but a automaticity problem we will see here transferring hundred dollars from account a to b if a failure occurs during the execution there could be a situation like hundred hundred dollars deducted from a and not credited in the b that is nothing but a automaticity data concurrent access violation if multiple users are updating if multiple users are updating the same data simultaneously it will result in inconsistent data state in file processing system it is very difficult to handle the handle this using programming code so data concurrent access violence means multiple users are accessing the same data simultaneously then sometimes it may result in inconsistent system in file processing mainly in file processing it is very difficult to handle next one security problem security problem is nothing but a enforcing security constraint in file processing system is very difficult so in file processing system enforcing security constraint is very difficult for example in banking system payroll personal need only the part of database that have the, that has the information about various bank employees they don't need access the information about the customer accounts for example if you see in bank if anybody asks the payroll information 
then like customer name customer age customer customer address customer bank balance every information will be there so if i ask my details i should see only my details if other persons also other persons customer other persons bank account number also if i am able to see then it is may not maintaining a security so that is nothing but a security problem in file processing system enforcing security constraint is very difficult so these are the file based approaches the disadvantages so first what we have seen first we have seen data redundancy data redundancy is nothing but a duplication of data next we have seen data inconsistency data inconsistency is nothing but a same data existing in different files with different meaning data isolation data isolation is nothing but a data is data is scattered in different files in different format then retrieving an information uh, from different files is very difficult next we have seen data integrity data integrity is nothing but a data values may need to satisfy some integrity constraint next we have seen data automaticity data automaticity uh, is very difficult in file processing system next one data concurrent access violation multiple users are accessing the same data simultaneously sometimes it may result in inconsistent state security problem enforcing a security in a file based system is very difficult these are the drawbacks 